Hello, in today's video, um, we are going to be going to the cabin and we're going to try to catch some fish with flies that we've tied on our own. So the next few clips will be videos of me tying flies. So the first fly we're going to be tying is the pink worm. So I got my pink uh, little piece of yarn or whatever it is here and some thread and a hook. And that's basically all we need. So it's a pretty simple fly, so I'm just gonna start doing it. So I'm gonna kinda start here and wrap it around. So now I'm gonna kind of, uh, hold on, apply the worm here. Now I'm going to kind of go toward the front and wrap it around a couple times. All right, and one final addition. So um, next is my personal favorite. It's basically the beetle. It looks really cool. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna start just with the thread going down again. Yeah. So now I'm gonna get the sparkle here and I'm gonna tie it in, but I'm not quite yet going to, uh, you know, use it. I'm gonna put the foam in after that. So now I'm gonna put the foam on. Um, this is kind of getting to the hard part. Um, so I am going to put the foam on right here, kind of just like that. So now I'm going to kind of wrap it forward a little bit. And now this is kind of the part where it makes it the beetle. So I'm going to kind of wrap around this a couple times. All right, so I'm gonna do the legs now. So I'm gonna kinda bring it up like that. And I'm gonna kinda wrap it around so that it stays tight in there. So now I'm gonna bring the legs up. I'm gonna try to make sure they don't um, get too short so I'm gonna for now do that that actually looks pretty good so yeah so now I'm gonna kind of get this you know orange stuff and put this up here kind of toward the top and this is so that you can see it when it's underwater so now I'm going to also wrap this one around a couple times because we want it tight and we don't want it falling off. I kind of like this part. I'm going to pull this up and just simply clip it. The first morning of the cabin, I tied some last minute flies and also got the rest of this some stuff ready. So we're at the cabin now after a three and a half hour drive and a good night of sleep, we're ready to go. So we were about a third of the way there when we encountered a baby bear just up the trail and then mom came with another baby bear. Luckily they turned the opposite direction but we uh, came down the trail a couple hundred feet. Here's the first baby before the mama showed up. It was really curious. Unfortunately with the bears, the bears ran off in the direction that we were gonna go to get to our fishing spot. So we had to try a different spot. When I was fishing, I just tried the beetle. 
but it wasn't working so well, so we attached the pink worm to it. Then this happened. Yes! Pink worm wins! But it's not quite over yet. We still have two stops to go. And this is one of the two spots, or stops. This giant patch of oyster mushrooms. So, I'm gonna harvest them. So the second stop is only a couple hundred feet from the cabin that we discovered just today. Um, so we got some wild onions that I'm going to dig up with this. So. See the red now? Oh, that one actually looks pretty good. We're going to cook the fish on the in foil um, in the campfire to make things a little bit different but we're gonna still cook the mushrooms in the house so here's all the things we got we got the fish we got the mushrooms and we got the onions so now we're gonna put the salt and pepper and butter on it. So here we go. So now we're gonna check the mushrooms and make sure they're not wormy. The mushrooms look great. Now we're gonna cut up the onions. The coals are ready to go, so we're going to put the fish on. Here he is, it's all done. And everyone knows the best part is the cheek. Yeah, I agree. All right, time to test it out. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 okay. That's great. Now the mushroom. Oh my gosh. That is so good. Bye everyone. I really hope you enjoyed this video.